Yeah, first off, uh, you know, very, um, very thankful, very appreciative to uh, the fans. Um, I don't know the exact, uh, the exact way to say it, but I know it's the biggest crowd, especially in the last home game that we've had around here in an awfully long time, 6,000 plus people um, that, uh, that came out. So uh, awfully, awfully thankful, appreciative uh, of those folks. Um, I know those 19 seniors are as well. Um, you know, and, and uh, really wish that, um, that um, we could have played better for those 19 seniors, wish that I could have, uh, you know, found, found a way to make us play better for those 19 seniors. Uh, very, very attached to some of those guys, um, all, of those, all of those guys, those 19 seniors that's been here, especially the ones that's been around for an awfully long time. Um, and uh, just, uh, you know, kind of heartbroken for them that we didn't play better on the on the last night that they'll ever get to do this here at Roy Stewart Stadium. However, we do have one more opportunity in front of us, one more week, one more Sunday, one more Monday, one more Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that uh, that we get to be around one another and, and uh, prepare and, and fat fight and battle with one another. Um, and we're going to have an awful lot of fun with those 19 guys um, and this football team this next week moving forward into our next uh, next challenge. Uh, Coach, the Austin B defense was number one in the OBC. Um, you guys had the bye week, and I know some fundamental changes in offense. Uh, what made it so tough just to go up against the governors? What what sort of problems did they present in your team? Well, I mean, yeah, they're good at what they do. You know, they're they're very um, very tough. I mean, they're third in the country, I think, in rush defense. They're a top. 20 defense in the country overall, something like that. I mean, they're very good at what they do. Um, you know, um, I'll be perfectly honest with you, though, I, I have a feeling tomorrow when I watch the tape, uh, I'm going to be a lot more disappointed with us than I am impressed uh, with them. And I don't mean that in any type of slight to them. Now, they're a, they're a dang good defense, dang good football team. Coach Hud does a really good job uh, with them. I've known him. I haven't known him, but I've known of him for a long time. Used to play him when I was a player back at Valdosta State when he was at UNA, and he's always had that. His, his teams have always had that same blueprint. They're very tough, very blue-collared, um, and their defense was today. Um, but like I said, I, I think tomorrow, my, uh, my biggest regret right now is I have a feeling that tomorrow when I turn on the tape, I'm going to be a lot more discouraged about us than I am impressed with some of the things that they did. You guys end up getting sacked five times. Uh, some of them covered sacks, some of them just you know, going by on the offensive line. What were you seeing uh, from, from Preston in those situations? Well, the biggest thing is is, is uh, the, the sack in the red zone, you know, right now, especially with a field goal kicker that's struggling, you know, right now and all that kind of stuff. You can't, you can't take sacks that move you further back in the red zone. You know, and ultimately that led to some of the fourth down trying. Plus, we were behind, but I mean, at that point, we were not going to, you know, down in that area of the field, we were going to go for it on fourth down regardless. Um, but uh, that's the you know, teaching moments for him. Um, and he had a, a lot of them today. But, um, you know, the biggest thing with the sacks for him is just teaching moments of taking care of the football in the right place and knowing where you're at on the field and not losing yardage um, in, in certain, you know, certain instances. Same time. Um, you know, there'll be some teaching moments where uh, the sack was good. The sack was the positive thing to do. Don't make a worse a worser, um, you know, and, and don't try to make something happen to where all of a sudden you hurt us more than you help us and just, you know, lay down, so to speak, and let's go play the next play. So, um, you know, he's still young. I've said that from the beginning. Uh, the Joker, this is his first year in college football. He's still got a lot of growing pains. Um, and things like that, but um, I thought he showed a lot of toughness today, a lot of grit because he did, um, he did take a, a couple of sacks, had to run around back there a little bit, and those type things. But um, you know, a lot of teaching moments for him. Out of the fourth quarter, kind of gets away from you guys, but that first half, it's 14 to zero. Zayton misses uh, two field goals. Uh, what do you tell the team at the half? Uh, down on the 14. Oh, just keep battling. You know, same thing we told them start of the fourth. Just keep battling the defense. Man, they did a tremendous job. What do we have? Uh, four. What do we have four turnovers. Yeah. Four turnovers right there today. You know, I mean, tremendous job by them. Um, and uh, you know, same thing, man. Just keep battling. You know, offensively. Um, you know, offensively, it wasn't a deal where we, 
couldn't figure them out. It was actually pretty something I've been saying all week long. They're a pretty simple defense. Schematically, they're a pretty simple defense. We're going to you know, bring some stuff from the field to you and uh, try to get into an odd package on third down and all that. So it wasn't like we were trying to figure them out. It was just we just had to we just had to finish the plays and play better, you know, and, and, um, and those type things. So it was just, you know, hey, man, just battle. We're all in this thing together. Let's just battle, you know. Let's just grit our teeth and, and keep on battling. Um, because we, like you said, we weren't out of it until the fourth quarter. You know, even right there at the beginning of the fourth quarter, we felt like, hey, you get one score, you're down two. You know, obviously we've all seen this happen before around here. We've done it before and all of that. And I think that's the cool thing about these guys is, is they do always have that experience to lean back on um, and kind of that belief that it can always happen. It doesn't matter what the score is, it can always happen. I mean, and obviously when we, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back was, uh, the fumble down there coming out of our end zone and all that kind of stuff. On that fumble, uh, you had Brendan Bodnar in. What was the reasoning for the switch? He's a senior. He's a senior. Senior night, he needed to play. Wanted to get him some playing time. Um, wanted to put him into a situation where he was actually going to have to go play, you know, his last year. Like, it wasn't just, hey, go out there and victory and, and you know, run this, run the football here, run the football there. We wanted to go score with him. We wanted to put him in to, um, into a football situation, right, where he had to get us off the goal line, play football, all of those things, and uh, had a nice little quarterback run for him and all that, and got popped there at the end, and the ball just came out. Felt bad for him, man, because obviously that ain't that ain't what you want to do, and, you know, when you're senior night. But we kept him in the next series. I mean, he's he's earned that. He's earned that right. He's been around here for a long time. You know, guys love him. He's he wants to coach. Um, he'll be a dang good coach uh, one day. Um, and I uh, just wanted him to have that experience of, of getting in there and taking some reps and, and leading the troops. Coach, at the very end of the first half, you got a big interception from Blake Pick Turner. It looked like you were about to call a timeout with two left in 32 seconds. I, I couldn't see from the, the box, though. What was the situation there? Like, were you considering, considering like mitigating or taking a shot or? What dictated those final thirty to forty five seconds? Oh, at the half. Yeah, I was <clears throat> yeah, I was I was considering taking a shot, considering trying to do something, considering trying to go score. Um, yeah. and be honest with you, it was just kinda one of those risk reward moments at that time and I was going, Man, last thing I wanna do right now is turn it back over. You know, we're sitting right there still on the minus side of the field. I don't wanna turn it back over. Um, probably a little and obviously you know this Ed, you've been around me a, a, a a long time, um, probably very timid, and I, that's not really my not really my personality. But at the time there in the game, um, you know, um, I just I didn't think we were there right now offensively to go take that shot and all those type things. So we just we wanted to get to half, re you know regroup, reset, um, recharge, all of those things, right, and then come out the second half swinging. Did two missed field goals play a factor? Absolutely, you know, because you don't, you don't have that. You don't have that tool. You don't have that club in your bag, right? So it's not like, hey, well, I feel like we can, if we can get 35 yards, we can get in field goal range. You know what I mean? You don't have that. So you're looking at it going, all right, it's 31 seconds, whatever the case may be, 76 yards, that's a lot different. And, um, and like I said, you know, with where we were at and how things had gone up to that point, um, I was just trying to make sure that uh, we mitigated the bad, so to speak. We didn't want to. We didn't want to get into a bad situation, put their offense back on the field, um, and give them a chance to go get points before the half. Uh, it, it seems like this has happened more often than we'd like to happen. But the opening uh, or, or the, the first turnover uh, pass was on money from Rice. Gets booted up in the air. Defense a lot of things at all. Yeah. Uh, you know how do you how do you tell a kid to bounce back or something? Well, that's that's the. the quarterback, but yeah, yeah, no, that's a great question. That, that's the deal, right, is is you've got to be able to bounce back from that. Like, you, you've got to understand what just happened. You know what I mean? You've got to have confidence about yourself to understand, man, that was that was a good play. It hit me right here, man. I bobbled it up and just so happened I bobbled it right into that guy, right? And it's almost kind of one of those, you know, that gun moments. But then you go play and you get by it. You get past it, right? You move on. Um and uh, and you can't let it affect the next play, affect the next series. You can't let that that kid right 
Tez Brooks or whoever, Armani, I think it was Armani, you can't let it affect him to where he gets down in the dumps. And it's the same thing with, with Boogs. You know, at the, at the end of the game when we had to fumble and all that kind of stuff, he, boy, he tried really hard to get down because that was a bad moment for him. You know, that's, that's one that he'll, he'll remember for a long time. And it's the same thing. You look at that kid and go, hey, you're going right back in, buddy. It's senior night, you're going right back in. And um, so it's just, it's one of those things, you know, uh, offensively, you, you, you have to have confidence. You have to have the confidence enough to know that, uh, man, that was, that was a bad play, right? Like that, that sucked, right? All right, move forward. It is, it, it, and I hate this phrase, it is what it is, let's move forward. Um, and you can't let it defeat you, you can't let it drop your head and all of a sudden you, you, know, you want to walk off the field and all of that kind of stuff. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Man, it's, it's bad play, bad luck, bad luck. You know, things happen, let's go, move forward.